It is now my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Michelle Melton. Mich Michelle is graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology. While at UC Davis, Michelle worked as a research assistant in Dr. Simona Getty's lab, as well as at the UC Davis Pediatric Hospital. In addition to working as a research assistant, Michelle has been employed with the Guardian Scholars Program, which, fosters, which serves foster youth. In New York, she plans to pursue graduate level social work, fo focusing on children who have experienced trauma. Welcome, Michelle. Good morning, there is a whole lot of people looking at me right now. That's all right. Um, thank you, Provost Hexter, Dean Spilner, esteemed faculty, staff, family, friends, and members of the Davis community for joining us this morning. One of my favorite sayings is, it takes a village to raise a child. I believe that's true for each graduate here. It takes a village, it takes community, and it makes the support system to bring this day forth. I know that if it weren't for my support system, I would not be standing where I am today. That's them. <laughs> like some of you, I am the first of my family to graduate from college. Hey, right? I know, it's a good day, it's a good day. Um, I am also a former foster youth. At the age of 15, I reported myself into the foster care system to escape the severe abuse that was happening in my home. Although this was a positive move that kept me from further abuse, being, in, being placed into foster care caused people to look at me in a different way. While in high school, I began to make plans to attend college. I met with my advisor, and instead of being met with support, I was told, people like you don't need to worry about college prep courses. My foster parent enforced that message by saying, students like you don't go to universities. It was recommended that after high school, I attend a vocational school instead of pursuing a bachelor's degree. So that's what I did. I completed a vocational program in Sacramento, which transitioned me into the workforce. I worked in various nonprofit agencies, which allowed me to feel some reward with helping people, but I was always stuck in low-level positions because I didn't have a college degree. The belief that people like me don't go to college that mindset kept me stuck for many years until May of 2015 when my father passed away. That pivotal moment showed me just how short life can be and I decided to seek help from a psychologist. It was in counseling where I learned that the messages I received regarding my abilities were not necessarily true. That revelation gave me the strength to become a full-time student at Solano Community College and I then transferred to UC Davis in the fall of 2017. I remember my first month here. I felt overwhelmed by the size of the campus. I had anxiety trying to ride my bike in a turnabout, terrified that I was gonna fall flat on my face in front of everybody. I felt a fear of being killed by a bicyclist as I walked across the street near the silo. And I experienced a level of road rage that I did not know existed <laughs> as I attempted to find parking on this campus past 10 a.m especially winter quarter. You guys know what I'm talking about. It was a crazy transition, and I remember walking on the quad, focusing on the signs, one of a kind, like you. I experienced a tremendous amount of imposter syndrome during my first, first quarter here, and I repeated that saying to myself every day. During my first year, I began to find my place on campus with the Guardian Scholars Program and EOP. Hey. It was through this community that I discovered that Davis was actually a place for someone like me. My time at Davis has been completely amazing. I have connected with professors who are acclaimed experts in their field. I have sat under advisors who support my goals. And it was here that I decided I wanted to go further. In two weeks, I will begin a fully funded Masters of Social Work program at the University of Buffalo, New York. Thank you. 
Um, after graduate school, I will become a licensed clinical social worker, preceding a PhD specializing in interventions with children diagnosed with PTSD. Before Davis, I thought that a bachelor's degree was an unrealistic fantasy for someone that is like me or that comes from my background. But maybe Chancellor May was right when he says, this is who we are. Graduation is a time of celebration, but it is also a time of transition. I'm sure I'm not the only graduate here experiencing tremendous anxiety, but yet complete excitement about this day. Some of you may catch yourself wondering, Am I capable of achieving my career goals? I would say, yeah, you are. Or maybe you're sitting here thinking, will I be able to find a job to support myself or support my family with my new degree in this economy? My reply to that, I believe you're going to be totally fine. Or perhaps you're like me and you catch yourself saying, great, I got into the program I wanted. This is awesome. But what if I fail? What if I don't have what it takes to complete a graduate program? My answer to that, we have everything we need to be successful. I know these answers because I see where we are today. We have already proven to ourselves and to those around us that we are capable of achieving greatness. None of us are here by accident. We got here by our abilities, our choices, and our hard work. Davis saw something in each of us. They saw that we would be capable of carrying on the legacy of excellence, groundbreaking innovation and integrity that comes with the title of Aggie alumni. If those things were not true, we would not be here today. Each of us has, has accomplished something that others only dream of. While some daydream about this day, we put in the work, we made sacrifices, and we achieved a degree of higher education from one of the top universities in America. Because we have gotten this far, I know that we can move past our fears and go further. I don't know what the future holds, but I do know that we can look back on this day to remind us that no matter what happens in the future, we're going to be okay. Anxiety is normal, fear is expected, and doubt is going to come, but we can either allow those feelings to hinder us or propel us into the next season of our lives. We are strong, we are resilient, we have overcome the odds, and we will use the tools that we gained at UC Davis to make an impact in this world for the better. This isn't where we stop. This is where we begin, because we are Aggies. Congratulations, class of 2019. Go be great because we are one of a kind.